Today's lesson is coming out of section 5.3 in your textbooks, and it is interpreting graphs. The learning intention, there's just one today. It will be to be able to look at a graph and see what's happening as your graph is going up. What's that mean? Is it stays flat? What's that mean as it's going down? What's it mean where it starts? What's it mean where it finishes? And those kind of things. So to start today's lesson, we're going to look at a really standard, simple graph here, just something I've made up. So first, a graph always needs to have a title. Um, this time, I've just called it title, though. And there will always be two axes on a graph. And the first axis here we have is height. So it's going up 100 meters, 200 meters, 300 meters, 400 meters. And then my other axis here is my time axis. So at zero seconds, if this was height and this is time, at zero seconds, I'm on the ground. And then at two, sorry, it's in minutes. And at two minutes, I've gone up to about a height of 50 meters. And then after that, I shoot up to 300 meters. So the way graph works though is there will always be a dependent vari variable and an independent variable. If something's independent it doesn't need anything else. If you um, are grown up and you're an independent person you're out on your own, you're not relying on your parents anymore, you're independent. So time doesn't rely on anything. Time is time. It's going to happen no matter what. However, so in this case and almost all cases Time is our independent variable. And our dependent variable in this case is height. How high you are, so let's say this was a little uh, remote control helicopter. You fly your helicopter up, and then it goes higher, and then it stays at the same height. So the height is depending on what time it is, okay? Three minutes into the flight, you were at a certain height. Your height is depending on what time it is. Time is just going to happen, so it's independent. So make sure you can understand these two definitions. Now, properties of a graph. Properties of a graph are, so let's look at this in really general terms. It's going up slightly. Then there's a very steep increase. And then it's remaining at the same height. So, when it's remaining at the same height, it could mean two things. It is either hovering or it's flying along the same plane. It's not going up or down. And then it starts going down a little bit. And then, uh-oh, I think you're out of gas. Something, because all of a sudden, really steep decrease. So moderate decrease, steep decrease. So you need to look at a property. When you look at a graph, you should look at the properties. What's happening? Well, it's going up slowly, and then something happened. Woo, shot up. Maybe it hit the wind. Maybe you just remote controlled it up really quick. An eagle swooped down, grabbed your helicopter, and flew straight up in the air. Something happened. And then you either hovered. Maybe the eagle landed on its nest with your little helicopter and waited a couple minutes. And then the helicopter got away and it flew down slowly before running out of gas and crashing. That's a possible scenario for this. But you need to understand when it's going up or down what those things could possibly mean. Now we're going to start gleaning some information from graphs. So looking at this graph, um, first thing you should do is always read the graph's title. Heights of children. And then look at the axes. We have children ages 0 to 6 and heights from 0 to 120 centimeters. So you have person A, B, C, D, E, and F, each person's being labeled here, or each child. And now some questions they might ask you. They might say, which two children are the same height? So for height, we're looking this way. So 120, there's only one person. 80, there's only one person. But at 40 centimeters, B and C are both at the same height. Which two children are the same age? Well, A, B, C, here we go. D is three years old. E is three years old. So D and E are the same age. Okay. Another question might be, how tall is person F? So person F, find person F, go across. Person F is 120 centimeters tall. How old is person F? Person F is approximately four and a half, maybe a little more than four and a half years old. Okay. So that's how we can read these graphs when they have the dots, which are a little different than when they're all connected. Now we're looking at another graph. We have temperature on January 14th, and we have our independent variable, hours of the day. The hours of the day are going to happen no matter what. And the temperature depends on the hour of the day. It's colder at night, warmer in the day. So some information we can get from this. It might say, the question would say, what is the warmest temperature 
that day on January 14th. So temperature is on this axis. So the warmest temperature happens here at our high point. It looks to be about minus seven, minus six degrees. What time of day did the warmest temperature happen? Well, on this day, the warmest temperature happened at about 1030. Some other information that may get asked is what is the temperature at 6 a.m.? So at 6 a.m., the temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. What's the temperature at 11 o'clock p.m.? 11 p.m. is 2300 hours. So that is, if you go straight across here, the temperature at 11 p.m. is about minus 22 degrees. So we're going to use both axes to answer any question. So what is the temperature at noon? So at noon, draw a line straight up, then go straight across. It's about minus 8 degrees. Okay? So it's important that you be able to read different graphs and understand whether the graphs where we have the dots, whether it's continuous graphs, whether it's non-continuous graphs where maybe there's a break in the graph at some point. You need to be able to understand these graphs. Your assignment for your textbook for today's lesson is page 281. Do questions 3 to 7, 10, 13, and 16. In question 16, you're going to have to draw some of your own graphs, learning some or using some of the information you learned from the earlier questions. So good luck and stay classy in that class.